For the collision lap, I would suggest that uh, you start the first car with zero, one car has zero velocity to begin with. Uh, that's just gonna make finding momentum much easier. There's no reason to uh, make it difficult. Uh, and then you'll just give the other car a push. Uh, I would suggest also having the photo gate about, what is this, about, well, roughly around the 80 uh, centimeter mark. It doesn't really matter that much. It's just that way you give, the, uh, you give plenty of room to push the one car and then you can start recording now, for example, and then the collision happens and then the other car gets pushed through. So that way, uh, since the original car was set up right next to the photo gate, as soon as the other car collided with it, you'll, you'll have a good set of starting velocity for the teal car, and then it will collide. You'll get the data for the gray car as well as the teal car on Logger Pro. But just to recap, start with the teal car at the beginning at zero. Uh, that'll give you plenty of room for uh, a good initial velocity. Uh, low speeds is fine, is, is, is suggested and uh, have the second car set up right next to the photo gate almost near the end so that you have time to, uh, or it goes directly into the photo gate right after the collision. Otherwise, you have friction slowing both cars down. Okay, so I would in the graph get the initial velocity of the teal car just before the collision, and then you'll get the velocities of the cars directly after the collision. And of course, you can make this inelastic if you flip the one car around using the Velcro. And once again, having it right next to the photo gate, you glide and it sticks.